Welcome dear students, we are on the CC Guruku lecture. We are in the series of electronic circuits and many electronic uh, components we have discussed in the previous lectures. In the today's lecture, we will discuss about the integrated circuit. Integrated circuit nowadays plays a very important role in the development of the electronic gadgets. All of you know that the computer have a motherboard and that motherboard prepared by the integrated circuits. So, in today's lecture, we will discuss what is the integrated circuit. As the name suggests integrate, we integrate the many components in a one platform. So, an integrated circuit is an assembly of the electronic components in which we have the 100 to millions of the transistors, registers and capacitors are interconnected and build up a Build and build up on a thin substrate of semiconductor material. That material may be the silicon or we call it as a chip. So, on a single chip, we assemble the electronic components like resistors, capacitors and transistors and that platform is the chip and that is made of the silicon and that is a semiconductor material. So, integrated circuit are the building blocks for the most electronic devices and the equipment. That arrangement we will use in development of the many electronic gadgets. So, integrated circuit is the uh, is uh, the assembly of the electronic components in which we are having a hundreds to millions of transistors, resistors and the capacitors which are interconnected and these are uh, mounted on a thin film that is the substrate of the silicon material that is the silicon chip. So, what are the integrated circuits? An integrated circuit sometimes we we call it as a microchip, sometimes we call it as a microelectronic circuit. Why we call it as a microelectronic circuit? Because we are using the components of the micro size. So, transistors, resistors and the uh, capacitors we use all of the micro size. So, we call it as a microchip or the microelectronic circuits and it is mounted or integrated up upon a semiconductor wafer. That wafer must be the silicon or any semiconductor material we can use to prepare the semiconductor paper that produce a platform to mount it all the or to integrate all the micro level uh, electronic components and uh, thousands of uh, the, and millions of tiny resistors, capacitors, diodes and transistors are fabricated on a, on a wafer uh, chip. And uh, in this manner, we can get the integrated circuit. And IC can function as an amplifier. It can be work as a oscillator. It can work as a timer counter, logic gates, computer memories, microcontrol or the microprocessor. All can be developed by integrating all the electronic components on a one platform. That is that is the silicon chip and that arrangement is called the integrated circuit and that can be used in many electronic gadgets like amplifier, oscillator, timer, counter, logic gates, etc. And IC is a fundamental building block and in modern electronic devices nowadays and as the name suggests, it is an in integrated system of multiple miniaturized and interconnected component embedded into a thin substrate of the semiconductor material and that material usually we use the silicon crystal and we integrate the multiple miniaturized and interconnected component on that of a substrate. So, IC having the number of number of micro level electronic component. Now, a single IC could contain the thousand millions of the transistors, resistors, capacitor, diodes and as per the requirement we add the electronic components on that integrated circuit. Initial component may be 
may be reside on it and all interconnected through a complex web of semiconductor wafer that wafer may be of the silicon copper or the other material generally we use a silicon wafer size wise each component is small that's why it is a micro chip we can also call it the resulting circuit is a monolithic chip or a tiny chip other enough to occupy the few squares of the millimeter or the centimeter of the space on that chip the one common example of the modern days ic is the computer processor i told you that the computer motherboard is made of the integrated circuits which typically contains in billions of the transistors capacitors logic gates are interconnected together to form a complex digital circuit all the processor is an ic not an icr processors so all the processor is an ic integrated circuit what is the history behind the integrated circuit first the diode came vacuum diode came into account in 1897 by the john ambrose in the year 1897 the he developed the vacuum diode for motors and invented in the by using the left hand rule after that in the 1906 a new vacuum was invented that is the triode and it is used basically for the amplification after that the transistor were invented in the bell lab in 1947 it means transistor developed in 1947 and that vacuum tube replaced partially because the transistors are small components that use that use a less power to work similarly here the integrated circuit also use the less power so after the triode diode the transistors came into account in 1947 then different circuits are designed using the discrete components by separating through each other as well as by arranging the printing printed circuit board and controlling through the hands known as a non integrated circuit all these components were mounted on a on a circuit board and that uh, that, that are that are that are large in size and uh, but these are not the integrated no no that is called the non integrated circuits these are these consume much more power and space and their output is not at as smooth as the integrated circuit so in 1959 integrated circuit was developed where the several electronic and electrical component were fabricated over a single silicon wafer so now from the non integrated circuit to the integrated circuit in 1959 where all the electronic electrical components were assembled together on a single platform integrated circuit was had used the low power to operate as well as provide the smooth output as compared to the other uh, electronic gadgets uh, integrated circuit use a low power the output is smooth for the enhancement of the transistors over integrated circuit can also be increased so in 1950 jack kelby of the texas uh, uh, instrumentation lab developed the first integrated circuit and that integrated circuit by the first used by the us air force and in 2000 year 2000 Jack Jack won the Nobel Prize for this miniaturized electronic circuit. That is a integrated circuit. After that, the more development has been done, and the further designing was done by the robot who fabricated the integrated circuit in a better manner as compared to the previous one to solve the modern problems. So his model uh, that was uh, developed by the robot and his model solved many practical. Problems. problems which uh, kelby's device had and both got the nobel prizes and uh, both uh, and uh, it was made with the silicon wafer as the uh, kelby was made for the germanium so now this uh, uh, works faster as compared to the previous one and the robert noise and the jack kelby both received the us patent as their part of work of the integrated circuit the nobel prize won by the kelby now how does an integrated circuit works integrated how work is in the passive and the uh, active manner so monolithic integrated circuits concept that emerge comprises a complete circuit or a group of circuit that includes the 
active and passive components and these and they are interconnected they are interconnected to each other and uh, and the manufacture on a single piece of the uh, silicon so this uh, monolithic means mono mono means single and lithic means stone so the word monolithic implies that the circuit is mono fixtured with in a single crystal so single crystal here we use the silicon and on that the all the circuitry has been designed so this type of ic chip is sometimes described as a planar ic's since it takes the form of the flat sur surface so planar process concept contributes to the integrated circuit by using a integrated circuit drawing first after that that will be implement the other components implemented on that platform on that the silicon chip and uh, that uh, views a circuit into a two dimensional that two dimensional projection is known as a plane that use a photographic processing technique such as a film negative mask to the mask for the projection of the light onto the explored chemicals and in this manner the development of the film has been done and these facilities in the series of the exposure of the substrate silicon to create the silicon oxide then doped reason that part also used in the fabrication integrated circuit fabrication how we prepare the integrated circuit there are many steps for the for the development of the integrated circuit so the fabrication of the semiconductor devices is the process used the fabricate of the integrated circuit similarly most of the time we use the metal oxide semiconductor devices used in the integrated circuit chip in any electrical and electronic devices so how we mounted the metal oxide semiconductor devices on a single chip so these are the steps for the fabrication first we start with the layering the starting material for the integrated circuit fabrication is the single crystal silicon wafer so first step is the layering what is the layering layering serves to add the thin layers to the surface of the wafer first we take the single crystal wafer then a thin layer is developed on that and uh, these layers may be used for the different materials microstructures and composition of the same material such as the polycrystalline silicon and the silicon oxide means we are have taking the we are taking the uh, single crystal as a wafer and on that wafer uh, other materials can be deposited more than one layer uh, or the different materials or the microstructure and the composition can be developed on that wafer so you see on the screen there here we are having a various layer like silicon like oxide like other uh, meters and in this manner we can prepare the uh, wafer uh, for the for the development second is the patterning patterning basically is the next step and that patterning is also known as the lithography so lithography where we use the masking masking means first we prepare the mask like that uh, what type of gadgets or what type of circuitry we are we want on that uh, Uh, single wafer so we design after that by using the mask the particular portion is exposed to get out the original circuitry so the most important step of the wafer fabrication is the patterning or that is called the lithography also the deposition doping etching and the patterning refers to the series of steps to separate the mask or exposed portion of the surface it sets the devices critical dimensions on the wafer and uh, uh, you see on the screen that this is the masking we prepare the mask and we put the mask and these are the steps where we developed the electronic uh, components on the wafer or a single wafer now these are the steps i would i to uh, deposition metal strike layer transfer to the gold pattern and here we use a gold 
to deposit on the surface of the wafer. Etching can be done. The excess of the exposed area will be uh, unexposed area will be removed. Then IoT etching has been done. Then the gold removal patterning on ITO has been takes place. So next step is the doping. Third step is the doping. It refers to the process as we know that doping means we add another material. So P type or N type material we can use here. So it refers to the process of the incorporating the specific amount of the electrically active impurities through opening on the surface of the wafer. The doped material are typically impurities of the type P or N we can use here uh, to fabricate of the devices like diodes, transistors, conductors or IC devices. You see on the screen that here we are having the various material and pentavalent or trivalent impurities can be added in this in this in uh, materials. Next, the fourth step is the heat treatment. In the heat treatment, we do the furnace annealing, and it is a process used in manufacturing of the semiconductor devices, which consists of heating the multiple wafers of the semiconductor to affect their electrical properties. The heating treatment are designed for the various effect where the wafers can be heated to enable dopant doped material like uh, phosphorus transfer film to film or film to wafer spectrum interfaces uh, densify deposited film uh, adjust grown film addition conditions repair implant damage shift dopant or drive dopant from one film to the another and the form a film to the wafer substructum. It means uh, uh, here you can deposit uh, what we have deposited on the film by using the preheated treatment we can get the dense film on the substrate. So, this is the the, from this diagram, we can see the film production on the silicone uh, rubber uh, uh, blanket. You see the removal of the unnecessary part by a pattern model glass uh, plate. After that, you see here the transfer of the films to the highly hydro uh, phobic surface. We get the uh, desired film. So. Uh, heating, flaming, heating is also an important part for the development of the uh, integrated circuit. So, now what, what are the types of the integrated circuit? How we define the various types of the integrated circuit? On the basis of the techniques used in the manufacturing, the types of IC can be divided into three classes. Number one, thin and thick film ICs. Number two is the monolithic ICs. Number three, hybrid or the multi-chip IC. These three categories are defined on the basis of the technique, manufacturing technique and we discuss one by one. Now, first is the thin and thick IC. As the name suggests, thin and thick IC where we deposit the thin film or deposit the thick film. So, in the thin and thick film, passive component such as resistors, capacitors are integrated but the diode and transistors are integrated are connected as a separate components to form a single and a complete circuit. So, on a one platform we are having a resistors and capacitors, but the diode and transistors we can connect from the, from the outside. Thin and thick uh, ICs that are produced commercially are merely the combination of the integrated and the discrete separate components. So, uh, some components are integrated, some components are on the same platform and some components are, are attached separately. That is why uh, it is called the integrated and discrete attachment. Uh, so, the thick and thin ICs have the similar characteristics, similar appearance except the method of the film deposition. Thick and thin film uh, like we are depositing a film of the particular thickness. So, on the basis of that we define the thick and thin but other parameters are same. Methods of the deposition of the thin film distinguish thin ICs from the thick ICs. You see here hybrid of the multiple ICs. Now, the thin and thick ICs are made by depositing the films of a conducting material on a glass surface or on a, cer or a ceramic base. By wearing the 
thickness of the film deposited in the material having the different resistivity passive electronic components like resistors and the capacitors can be manufactured the thick film ic the silk printing technique is used to create the desired pattern of the circuit on a ceramic substrate so uh, the thick film ic's are sometimes referred to as a printed thin film so these are the difference between the thick and thin films the screens are actually made of the fine stainless steel wire mesh and the links connected are the are, are paste is having the conducting material resistive or the dielectric properties so these circuits are fired in the furnace at a high temperature so as to fuse the films to the substrates after printing for the deposition of the film it is the uh, it uh, it must be uh, it must be go through the high temperature so next next is the monolithic ic's what are the monolithic ic's these are the discrete components the active and passive and also the interconnected between uh, them are formed on a silicon chip the world monolithic like monolithic means we are using a single stone single crystal the monolithic circuit is a circuit that is built on the single crystal now monolithic ic's you see on the screen that this is the monolithic that is covered with the cap so monolithic are the most common type of the ic in, in which is used in the daily life as you all see in your laboratories that this type of ic we use for development of the electronic the inductive devices its cost of production is very cheap so and it is very reliable so we use commonly commercially it is used so commercially manufactured ic's are used as amplifier voltage regulator and in am receivers and computer circuits also so you see on the screen that is a monolithic ic's in plastic package that is a dip now have the deposit of these advantages and vast field of the application monolithic ic's uh, it is having a limitations insulation between the components of the monolithic ic is very poor so it also have the low power rating and uh, fabrication of uh, insulator is not uh, that possible as uh, many as it is having a uh, many factors so next is the hybrid or multi chip ic's as an name implies multi and uh, more than one individual chip are interconnected so the active components uh, that are contained in this kind of the ic's and diffuse transistor or diodes the passive components are the diffuse resistors or the capacitors on a single chip so you see hybrid or multiple ic's here you see that the multiple chips are interconnected on the left hand side you see that this is a mesh type of arrangement the square represent the chips and these chips are interconnected through the wire these components are connected by the metallized patterns so on the right hand side the original chip mentioned now hybrid ic's are widely used for the high power amplifier applications uh, from 5 watt to more than the 50 watt and its performance is better than that of the other monolithic uh, ic uh, you, you can see that uh, it can be used for the uh, high power amplification now based upon the integrated applications ic's are classified into the three part also now on the basis of the intended applications like analog integrated circuit second is the digital integrated circuit and third is the mixed integrated circuit on the basis of intended application the uh, integrated circuit is classified into three parts now first is the digital integrated circuit what is a digital integrated circuit where we use a digital uh, digital components like uh, the integrated circuit that operate only at a few defined levels instead of operating overall level of the signal amplitude that is a digital integrated circuit and that can be designed by using the multiple number of the logic gates and the multiplexers digital circuits use the flip flops and other electronic components of the circuit and these logic gates works with the binary input like 0 and 1 Zero for the low or the false input, and the one for the high or the true, high true or the logic one. 
these are the basic components this is used for the digital integrated circuit where we has a system specification then then the architectural design then then the functional design and the logic design circuit design done after the physical design done after that the physical verification and the sign off that is working properly or not when it is uh, uh, then it is done then after the fabrication uh, is takes place then the packaging and the testing and after that a chip is formed so last product is the chip from the system specification to the chip first or where we require on the basis of the chip formation has been done so the figure the, that figure shows the steps involved in the designing of the typical digital integrated circuit so these digital integrated circuit are frequently used in the computer microprocessor digital and the signal processor computer networks and the frequency counters so uh, there are different types of digital ics types of the digital integrated circuit such as the programmable ICs, memory chip, logic ICs, power management IC, and the interference IC. So these are the basic. Uh, these are the basic uh, 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 digital chip which are used in the many electronic gadgets. So we continue with this lecture. Thank you.